Hi, I'm George and welcome to our video segment where you send in your questions and we try and answer them. So first up this week we have a question from Oliver. Can, can I add something to the water to make more thrust to make my water rocket go higher? Great question Oliver. Intuitively it certainly makes sense to add something to the liquid to make it more dense to create more thrust. Uh, however, that doesn't necessarily mean that the rocket will fly higher. Uh, because it's a little bit more complicated than that. So we'll have a look at the answer from a theoretical point of view, then we'll run some simulations and finally we'll have a look at a real world example of uh, a rocket flying with different density liquids. If we look at the traditional rocket thrust equation, we can see that the thrust is proportional to the mass flow rate. And the mass flow rate is just the amount of mass passing per unit of time. Here, it's defined as the density times the velocity times the cross-sectional area. So if we keep everything else constant in the equation and increase the density, it should result in greater thrust and therefore it should also follow that the rocket goes higher. However, greater thrust doesn't necessarily represent the whole picture. If you increase the density of the liquid, you may produce greater thrust, but you're also making the liquid that's still inside the rocket heavier and so you have to lift more weight, which works against the greater thrust. Other than weight, there are a number of other factors that affect water rockets' final altitude, such as drag, launch pressure, nozzle size, etc. The actual mathematics behind how a water rocket behaves in flight and how maximum altitude can be estimated is a lot more complicated, and I highly recommend Dean Wheeler's detailed analysis on this subject. I've put a link in the description. Now let's have a look at some simulations where we vary the density of the liquid and let's see what the simulator predicts. For this we're using Clifford Heath simulator. We first ran a number of simulations for this particular rocket that we fly quite often. From past experience we know that this simulator is fairly accurate in predicting a rocket's flight performance. Each of the points on this surface represents one simulation run. Along the bottom axis we have the rocket's dry weight while the other axis is the water fill amount as a percentage of the total volume, and vertically we have the predicted altitude. The liquid density for these first simulations was set to 1 representing water. This line represents the optimal water amount needed to reach maximum altitude. For this rocket that weighs 550 grams, we can see that we need close to 29% water fill to reach maximum altitude. Now we reram the simulations again, but this time for each point on the graph, we let the simulator run another whole series of simulations that varied the density between 0.4 and 1.6. The simulator then found which density achieved the greatest altitude. At the same time, the simulator not only gives us the maximum altitude, but also tells us what density would give us that optimal altitude. So we plot the optimal density in the second graph. This graph again has the dry rocket weight along this axis and the water fill percentage along this one with the optimal density on the vertical axis. This line represents the density of water. Anything on this side of the line means a higher density liquid achieved greatest altitude, while everything on this side achieved the greatest altitude with a lower density liquid. Each point on this graph corresponds to a point on this graph. So for this particular rocket that weighs 550 grams, we can see that the optimal fill percentage this time is closer to 31%, and it corresponds to a density of about 0.75, which achieved that result. However, the difference in predicted altitude is only about 4 feet higher with the optimized density versus plain water. That corresponds to only about 1-2% to of the overall altitude, so it's quite small. The more you move to the extremes of this graph, the greater the difference is between the density optimized and non-optimized altitudes. So enough with the simulations, let's have a look at a real world example. Several months ago, Paul did the density experiment for his high school project, so let's have a look at his results. We first prepared three different liquids and measured out the same volume for each. We used water as the control, and then for the denser liquid we mixed in a truckload of sugar to give us a density of around 1.25. For the lighter liquid, we used alcohol with a density of around 0.8, and here you can see the weight difference between the different liquids. We chose to use sugar as opposed to salt, as salt would be much worse for the grass at the launch site. The rocket was launched with a 9mm nozzle, and each flight was pressurized to 120 psi. Two, one, go!
The peak altitudes were recorded with an altimeter 1 barometric altimeter. We knew that the altitude differences would be small between the different liquids, and so we flew each liquid six times and averaged the results. And here are the results of those flights. You can see that for this particular rocket, the sugar solution performed slightly worse than the water, and equally the alcohol performed slightly better than the water. But again, the differences were fairly small. The full details of this experiment are available on our website with the link in the description. So to sum it all up, liquid density does affect the performance of a water rocket, but whether higher density will actually improve the final altitude is really dependent on the rocket itself. If you're going to do this experiment yourself at home, uh, I would first run a simulation to see uh, what kind of results you're likely to get. And then finally, you'll, uh, when you do the real world experiment, you're going to have to do uh, several different flights and average the results as the differences in altitude are likely to be quite small. Um, so I hope that has answered your question, Oliver. And if anyone else wants to ask a question, just send us your video uh, to the address listed in the description below. See you next time.